400 lines um, and some CSS. And there's some a little start of uh, provision for making it possible to load data from multiple sources, like multiple RDF databases. But currently, this goes just to just to our front end server. Um, that's the RDF tab dot pi that we have in the in the in the front end server. So that's some more four hundred lines. And what we do here is uh, it starts with a node and the, the node is specified in entry syntax. This allows us to um, uniquely identify nodes and literals, also B nodes. They each, uh, they each have their own um, unique you know, representation in the entry syntax. And what we do here is we, we just query all the quads uh, concerning the node. And then we do some fairly simple pre-processing. Um, We do this weird thing of when 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 the node is appearing in the subject position of of a quad, we just leave it as it is. But if it's appearing in the in, I mean, the yeah, if it's appearing in the object position of a quad, like this says, uh. Seven five four nine uh, has dimensional facts uh, on and on is dimensional facts of seven five four nine. So if it's appearing in in the object position, we we just note here that the the that the predicate is pointing in the other direction, but we still present it in the table like property value, property value. But we reverse the presentation. So that's one of the things we do. We try to come up with uh, with some shortenings, like we look up the we look up the prefixes maybe and we look up all the labels that takes a lot of time because for each each displayed node we run a separate query to to look up to find any, any labels declared. Um, yeah. And if there is a label, uh, I went simple this time. When there is a label, I just, I just made it to display the first one. 